This conference will now be recorded. Hmm. Uh, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is subsequent debits, credits, delivery costs and credit bill. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see uh, entering additional costs as subsequent debit. Okay. Account movements during subsequent debit. Okay. Enter unbenter planned delivery cost for an invoice. Enter unplanned delivery cost during invoice receipt. Okay. Adding items without reference to referencing to a purchase order during invoice. Okay. Enter an invoice without reference to a purchase order. Enter a credit memo referencing to referencing a purchase order. Reverse an invoice document. We will see today how to reverse an invoice document. Enter subsequent credit and perform GRIR clearing account maintenance. So these are the ones we will be covering today. Okay. So first we'll start with the entering subsequent debits and credits. Okay. Basically what happens is occasionally you receive invoices or credit memos from your vendors that refer to transactions that have already been settled. Okay. A subsequent debit credit arises if a transaction has already been settled and a further invoice or credit memo is received afterwards okay so basically uh, the subsequent debit and credit uh, are normally happens after the invo initial invoice is already settled okay so let's say you you uh, you created a purchase order gave it to the vendor you received the material then you uh, received the invoice copy you did the invoice entry all settled after that vendor realizes either he paid uh, less okay we paid less to him or we paid more to him so to settle those discrepancies we use subsequent debit or subsequent credit okay so here first we'll start with subsequent debit a vendor accidentally invoices you earlier for a price that is too low so he sends you a second invoice for the difference so you must enter the second item as a subsequent debit item if the po item has already been invoiced okay. now subsequent credit is a different one reverse a vendor accidentally invoices you invoices you for a for a price that is too high so he sends a credit memo for the difference so you must enter the credit memo as subsequent credit so subsequent debit means you are going to pay extra to him subsequent credit means he is going to return money to us that's the difference debit subsequent debit means we are going to pay extra to him credit means he is going to return the money that's that's the difference okay so this is the one let's say you have a po okay uh, material A, 50 pieces you ordered, amount is 500. So you received it, okay. So you received it, okay, 50 pieces, and the amount is 500. Okay, so now let's say later on he he sends a and everything settled, everything settled, okay. This is the one invoice. Now later on he sends you a extra invoice, extra invoice that you have to enter it as a subsequent debit. Always remember, subsequent debit will show in the purchase order with NB. NB as a separate line item, separate line item, okay? So this is the one, this is the one. So you have a purchase order, okay? You received the entire quantity and the invoice is also done. This is the amount, okay? Later on, he realized that there was some issue. Uh, he charged you less then he sends another invoice another invoice let's say for 20 euro okay in that case this subsequent invoice you should post it as a subsequent debit subsequent debit so now we will see this in the system let's see this in the system okay Okay, 
optically creative view. I'm creating a PO delivery date. We'll say it's today. Okay, so this is a PO. Just give me one minute. Nothing is it. I'm creating the PO. Okay, so PO is created. This is our PO. Okay. So now let us do the GR goods reset. Miko is also we covered many times. Go to receipt purchase order. Enter the PO. Okay. That's okay. Check where everything is there. Check. Okay, that's okay. This issue is still there. Oh, that's okay. Not a problem. Check. Sure. Everything is okay. Post. GR is done. This is a material document. That means we received the full quantity here. Okay, next let's do the IR invoice receipt. Okay, take the PO. The first time he sends the invoice. So now let's do the mail. Okay, select transaction invoice. Date and everything is here. Enter the purchase order number. This we covered already. Okay. So now we are doing the invoicing for full quantity 100 liter and the amount is 500 okay so enter the amount here balance is zero okay everything is okay now post it that's okay so invoicing is done okay this is an invoice document this is your invoice document. Okay, so now let us go to purchase order history. So let's go to ME23 here. ME23 here. Okay, so now if you go to purchase order, this is a PO. We just created and have performed everything. So if you go to purchase order history, you can see everything. You see, this is a material document and this is the invoice document. Invoice this document. So now, after this, the vendor realized that he he charged less. Okay, so now he sends, let's say, another invoice. Okay, another invoice for, let's say, let's say for 200, 200 USD. He sends an extra invoice. So that you have to post it as a, a subsequent, subsequent debit. So let me open one more session. Okay, now go to as usual Miro. Miro. Okay, now here, now you have to select transaction as subsequent debit. You see here, subsequent debit. You need to select this one. Select this one. Okay, now as usual, enter your purchase order number. Okay, purchase order number, and you will you will observe some difference. Huh? Okay, enter your purchase order number. Okay, Done. now what do you observe? What do you observe here is system proposes the entire quantity which is already invoiced but the amount will be blank okay that means we are already invoiced it actually so now let's say he sends the invoice second invoice for 200 so now you have to enter here amount man 200 the system doesn't know right everything set in so now enter the amount 200 here enter the amount balance balance is zero then now you save it so we are doing subsequent debit 
that's okay thank god we don't we don't have any errors uh, okay so invoice done 